Hi everybody, uh, I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial here about how to get Google Slides to your Keynote on your iPad. Um, I got a couple of questions on people asking me how they could just get their Google Slides templates off of their main computer or Chromebook and then put it onto their iPad or MacBook for Keynote here. So I'm gonna show you a quick little lesson. Uh, first of all, I like to look for um, templates for my, event, my other Google Slides here on slidecarnival.com. It's a fantastic free website. Um, you can do it and English, Portuguese, and more, but you go to slidecarnival.website, and what they do is they got tons of templates here that you can upload directly through your Google Slides through your Google account here, and, you, and they allow you to search it pretty well. So I'm gonna go and just do, uh, I'm gonna actually get ready to do my if recipe. So I'm gonna look on, see if there's anything on cooking. So I'm gonna hit cooking, and I'll let it do a search, and it's gonna look. Can't find anything, so I'm gonna just try one which is called iPad. Hit the swing again. Still can't find anything. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go computer. Do a search. Okay, now I've got a few ones here. So I'm going to go over here to my formal. And here we go. And here are some of my templates here. So actually, ooh, this is cool. Um, Ima, uh, Imogen presentation template uh, with hexagons and icons pair this theme and great te uh, techie content, dark background, blue thing. So I want to check this out. So I'm going to click on it. And it's going to tell me the main features on Slide Carnival right here. It has 20 different slides, dark regions, six by layout, and then here's the previews here. So here it is through Google Slides. So I can advance towards these right here. Oh, these are pretty nice. So let's say I love this so much. What happens is I'm going to use this presentation template. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to open right up here. I'm already signed into my Google Docs. And here it is ready to go. And it will do the main layout right here. Now what's so cool about this is it's got everything right in here through the different ones. And then if I want to add to it or anything, I can right click on this and copy it. I can say new template or I can do a new slide. So what I can do is I can go up here and I can click on this and I can copy this slide if I want to, or I can present it. And what's so great about this is now all the different templates and fonts are all right here in my graphics ready to go. So I can change my name here. So we're going to do it on If Recipes. So this is right here. But as you can see, oh, it's not working. That's because I've just opened it up. I have to make a copy. So I'm going to make a copy of this in a new presentation. I'm going to click on this, and now, once this is all set, I'll ask for my presentations, and what I'll do is I'll just make a copy of this. So I'll make a copy. It's going to open up back in my Google Slides. So as you saw, I could not edit those. They were not editable. So I have to make a copy into my actual Google here. So right now my name is Copy of Imogen, and now that it's in here, and it gives a second to load, I now can edit all this. So I'm gonna do this. We're gonna call this if. So I'm gonna call this because I'm doing on if recipes. Keep. Bye, Ryan. And now I'm good to go. Now what's so great about this is you can see now is I can add the templates. So this automatically does it. So if I click on the add button here, it'll give me all the different template features I want that I can use. So I can do captions, blanks, you know, columns and whatnot. So let's say I want to add a column here because I'm going to talk about what this is available in. And I'm going to put on can use on. And I'll put in here iOS. Android and desktop. So let's fast forward. Let's say this is all beautiful and everything else. I'm going to just change this to if. And it's good to go. So this is all finished now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download this right into my iPad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Google Drive app. What did I miss? Um, I went to slidecarnival.com 
and what happens is I did a search templates and once I went to it I said use this template when I did that it brought me to the main form here under my Google now as you can see this is the main one here so what I had to do is once it was loaded I had to say make a copy in my drive so once I made a copy in my drive it brought up the slate here so basically what I'm doing is I'm talking about how to transfer Google slides right to your keynote or PowerPoint right from there so now that I'm in here I'm gonna go to my drive here I'm gonna to go to recent apps it's gonna bring it up so there's my ift so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the I button bring up my thing and then right here it's gonna say what do you want to open it in so I'm gonna hit open in yep signcarnival.com and as you can see it's gonna give me the option open in what app so I'm gonna click on it give it a second to load And depending on how big your slideshow does, but here's all my things. So I could put this in Google Classroom, iBooks, Explain Everything, Sketch. I could even do this over in Jepson. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit this, hit More, do that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this in my Google Slides. So I have to get the app here. So Google Slides has its own app now for uh, iPads. So I'm going to go over here and download it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the final transfer. I tried to do it through Google Drive, but you can't quite do it as an export yet because it's not formatted correctly. So you have to export it as a finished PDF to get the Google Slides into your Keynote on iPad. So I'm going to do Google Slides really quick. And it's a free app. So go to Google Slides in your App Store. I'm going to download the app. Here's what it looks like on the iPad. Now, some people ask me, like, well, can't you just do the Google Slides from your iPad right there because you have the ability to, you know, edit them and do transitions? Yes, you do. But what happens is some of the features that are in Keynote, like Trace and Move and Magic Move that are on your computer and everything you want to. If I was going to do this simply on my desktop computer, I would go right over here to File. I would say Download As. And I would make sure that this was saved as a PowerPoint. So, and as you can see, I can do PDF or anything. I'm going to save that as a PowerPoint. Let it open. So I'm going to show you how this works on a Mac here, what, and then I'm going to show you how it works on the iPad. So there it is. And I'm just going to hit open here. So once that's finished, I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to turn on Keynote myself, and I'm going to open it in Keynote on my MacBook here. And then once that's done, I'm going to show you how that works perfectly over here on your iPad. So slidecarnivals.com, where I got the template from, I made, I viewed it, I then made a copy of it over here to adjust and change here in my Google uh, Slides. And by the way, some people ask me about um, references, uh, the references are always right here. So if you ever have to worry about it, they're going to put right here on the last slide here, so you're going to make sure your credit's here. So after all that, you don't have to worry about anything. The references are going to be right there, so you don't have to worry about any problems. So once Keynote opens up, I'll be able to open and load it perfectly into the app itself, and I will be, of course, able to mess around with it, do any transitions I want for my next screencast, and go from there. And then if I want to do it on the iPad, I'm going to open it right here with Google Slides in a second once it opens up. So there it is. I'm going to go over here. I have it opened up. So I'm going to go to my Downloads. And there's my PDF. And I'm just going to open this up. So right there. So I'm in Keynote. I'm just going to open up the PDF. It will translate it perfectly since it's a PowerPoint experimental file, PTX. It'll take a second to load. And there it is. So there'll be some things depending on the transitions of the text and everything, but as you can see, now I have everything. So now it's right here in my keynote. And now I can finish any or fix any final transitions, colors, or anything, do any moves or magics right here from my iPad. So isn't that awesome? And then over on the iPad, as you're going to see in a moment here, once this opens, as I'll show you how it opens perfectly from the Google Slides with all the different templates right into Keynote without question here.
I apologize for this being so slow today. I would have downloaded it earlier, but I had some uh, problems here. I couldn't leave the room and get it finished. And there it is up to Stalin. So right there it is. So one little quick rewrap. So I went into slidecarnival.com. I found my template. I said use that template. I opened it up in my Google Drive. And then, of course, I made a copy of it. So then that way I could edit it any way I want with transitions and whatnot. And since it's in my drive here, and I'll go right here to my uh, iPad, I'm going to go right into Google Drive. I'm going to sign in. And there's my presentation. I'm going to hit the three bubbles on it. I'm going to share and export. So I'm going to save as a PowerPoint. It's going to save it really quick. So it's saved as a PowerPoint. And now it's going to ask me where do you want to export it out as. And I will select Keynote and it will open up right there. So there it is, my IFT PPTX. I'm going to open it up and share it right to Keynote. It's being a little slow today, folks. I apologize again. So there's all my templates ready to go. So I'm going to say right here, share and export. And that's basically it. So I'm going to make a copy of it. It's going to make that copy. And it's going to ask me where do I want to export it as. And I'll open it right in Keynote. I have done this many times before. I apologize. It is not working out. There, I'll send a copy. That's working now, finally. So right there's my apps. Right there's Keynote. I'm going to open it in Keynote. It's going to quickly compress it and throw it up in the Keynote. Like I said, I apologize. This uh, worked a lot smoother when I did it the other day. I apologize. I had to do some uh, tinkering in my iPad to get some apps taken care of. But as you can see now, it is loading as the if PowerPoint and then it'll be ready for me to mess around on my iPad and that's how you do a Google Slides to iPad on your devices. Thanks so much.